So you bought a flow meter for your pool and you want to know, what do I do with this thing? Well, the goal is with a flow meter is now we can actually monitor the amount of water that's moving through your filtration system at any given point, And then we can make calculations based upon that that will benefit you. So the first thing that you need to know is what is the volume of your swimming pool? The second thing that you need to know is that you want to try to pump the volume of your swimming pool through the filtration system three times every 24 hours. Now, the reason why three times is the magic number is because you effectively need to filter all of your pool water, but that's actually very hard to do. And the math behind it says that by the time you've turned over the water in your pool three times, you've, you've achieved about 95% of all of the water in your pool being filtered at least one time. If you were to only turn over your pool a single time, for example, you would only achieve approximately 63% of all of the water in your pool being filtered one time. So now that we have a flow meter, you can start to dial in on the goal of a three turnover rate per day swimming pool where you're going to take the entire volume, let's say 10,000 gallons for a nice round number, and you're going to pump 30,000 gallons per day through your filtration system. And that way you will be able to achieve 95% of all of your filter, all of, all of your water being filtered one time. With a variable speed pump, the advantage to you is to run the pump all day long, 24 hours a day. You never wanna turn it off. But you also want to be running it at a very, very low RPM. And the goal is there is as you turn down the motor RPM, there's a drastic reduction in the amount of power that the pump consumes, but it still moves a fairly decent amount of water. And so you could take something really small, like 25 gallons per minute, something like that, which is pretty easy to achieve with a variable speed pump. And if you were to run that, you know, up to 18 hours a day, something like that, I think that's about 27,000 gallons of water filtered in 18 hours just at a really low amount of 25 gallons per minute. So it adds up really quickly uh, when you do really long periods at low RPM. But it's important to note that with your flow meter, the goal isn't just to achieve your turnover rate requirements with the very minimum RPM. You have to remember that your pool also has peripheral and items that need more flow, like you might have a, a heater or you might have a salt chlorinator or you know you, you could have some other thing. Like even the skimmer on your pool needs a certain flow rate in order to function properly or else none of the debris gets collected in your pool and it eventually all sinks to the bottom and then it consumes chlorine and then you have to add more chlorine and then the rest of your chemicals are out of whack. And there's a whole you know process that happens here as a result of the pool not being used properly. So it's not just about the lowest RPM, it's about long periods of low RPM to achieve your minimum filtration rate of three times the volume of your pool through the filtration system every day, but also a few hours every day near maximum RPM for some of your higher flow items like your skimmer and your pool heater, things like that. And maybe a few more hours per day at a mid-range RPM such that you know a salt chlorinator can function over a longer period of time and then the remainder of the day at a very low RPM such that you can pay the least possible for your filtration electricity while still maintaining the proper turnover rate of three times the volume of your pool every day. And so that is the goal with a flow meter. Now that you know how much water you're moving through the system, you can start to dial in on these numbers. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.